The animals that once roamed the earth are not just testaments to the richness and wonder of nature, but also stark reminders of humanity's profound impact. Imagine unique creatures like the dodo, the Tasmanian tiger, and the passenger pigeon, once freely striding and soaring across the planet, now existing only in memories and historical records. Today's topic takes you on a journey back in time, uncovering 10 remarkable animals that vanished before the 20th century and the poignant stories behind their disappearance. Let's explore Eniani animals. Number one, the passenger pigeon. The passenger pigeon, scientifically known as Ectopistes migratorius, swing was once the most abundant bird in North America, known for its graceful and streamlined body. These pigeons had a beautiful mix of slate blue feathers, a rosy chest, and iridescent green and purple hues along the neck, making them a stunning sight when in flight. They thrived in massive flocks that could darken the sky for hours as they migrated. Known for their highly social nature, passenger pigeons displayed coordinated swift movements, showcasing an incredible ability to fly in synchrony across vast distances. Their habitats spanned the dense deciduous forests and open woodlands of Eastern and Central North America. What set the passenger pigeon apart was the sheer size of its flocks, unmatched by any other bird. However, this very trait contributed to its downfall. Excessive hunting for meat and habitat destruction due to deforestation decimated their population. The last known passenger pigeon, named Martha, died in captivity at the Cincinnati Zoo on September 1, 1914. This marked a heartbreaking end to a species that once numbered in the billions, but fell victim to human exploitation and environmental change. Number two, Tasmanian tiger. The last confirmed sighting of the Tasmanian tiger, scientifically known as Thylacinus senecephalus, Swing was in captivity at the Hobart Zoo, Tasmania, where the final individual, known as Benjamin, died on September 7, 1936. This marked the end of a species that once roamed freely across Tasmania and mainland Australia. The Tasmanian tiger, with its distinctive striped back and slender, dog-like body, had a powerful bite force estimated at around 120 newtons, which, while not as strong as modern predators, was still formidable for its size and allowed it to hunt effectively. With a sandy or yellow-brown coat marked by 15 to 20 dark stripes, the Tasmanian tiger was an apex predator. It possessed strong limbs and could run swiftly to chase down prey, primarily consisting of kangaroos, small mammals, and birds. Unlike other marsupials, its long snout and large jaw gave it a unique appearance and hunting advantage. The primary reasons for its extinction were relentless hunting, fueled by bounties placed by European settlers, habitat destruction, and competition with introduced species like dogs. This tragic combination led to its disappearance from the wild, with the last verified wild sighting occurring in the 1930s. Number three, the dodo. The dodo, scientifically known as Raphus cuculatus zrania, was a flightless bird unique to the island of Mauritius. It had a distinctive appearance with a large plump body, stout legs, and a hooked beak. Its feathers were a mix of gray and white. With a characteristic tuft of curly plumage at the tail, the dodo was known for its gentle, docile nature, a result of evolving in an environment without natural predators. What made the dodo particularly interesting was its diet, consisting mainly of fruits, seeds, and berries which it foraged using its strong beak. Unlike most birds, the dodo lacked the fear response needed to evade predators, making it highly vulnerable when humans arrived on the island. The introduction of non-native species such as pigs and rats, which raided its nests and competed for food, along with overhunting by sailors, led to its rapid decline. The last confirmed sighting of the dodo was in 1662 on Mauritius, marking the end of this iconic bird and serving as an enduring symbol of human-induced extinction. Number four, the quagga. The quagga, scientifically known as Equus quagga quagga, swing was a unique subspecies of the plain zebra distinguished by its striking coat pattern. 
Unlike other zebras, the quagga's body featured bold, dark stripes on its head and neck that gradually faded into a plain brown rear, creating a striking half-striped appearance. This coloration set it apart from its fully striped relatives. Quaggas had a strong, muscular build, stood about 1.3 to 1.4 meters tall at the shoulder, and displayed the typical social nature of zebras, forming small herds in the arid grasslands and scrublands of South Africa's Karoo region and Southern Cape Province. Quaggas were known for their strong legs and endurance, which allowed them to travel long distances in search of food and water. However, intense hunting by European settlers for their meat and hides, coupled with competition from livestock, led to their rapid decline. The last wild quagga is believed to have been seen in the late 1870s, and the last captive individual died at the Artist Magister Zoo in Amsterdam on August 13, 1890, August 12, 1883. This marked the tragic end of a remarkable subspecies, leaving only taxidermy specimens and illustrations as reminders of its existence. Number five, the great auk. The great auk, scientifically known as Pinguinus impennis, logically was driven to extinction primarily due to relentless hunting by humans. For centuries, this flightless bird was hunted for its meat, feathers, and oil, leading to its rapid decline. The great auk's large colonies, slow movement on land, and inability to fly, made it an easy target for hunters. By the early 19th century, demand had surged to the point that even eggs and specimens were taken for collections, sealing the fate of this remarkable species. Known for its black and white plumage, the great auk had a sleek, penguin-like appearance and stood about 75 to 85 centimeters tall. It was adapted to the cold waters of the North Atlantic, living along the rocky coasts of Canada, Iceland, and Norway. With a life expectancy estimated at around 20 to 25 years, these birds were skilled swimmers, using their strong wings to propel themselves underwater in search of fish, their primary diet. The last confirmed sighting of the great auk was in 1844 on Eldi Island, off the coast of Iceland, when the final breeding pair was killed, marking the tragic end of this iconic species. Number six the Japanese sea lion. The Japanese sea lion, scientifically known as Xalophus japonicus, Xerenia was distinct from its relatives due to its darker, nearly black coat and slightly smaller size compared to the California sea lion. Males were robust with a characteristic mane-like tuft of fur, giving them a unique appearance. This species was known for its agility, both on land and in the water, displaying strong, graceful movements and social behavior that made it a fascinating creature to observe. These sea lions thrived along the coastal waters of Japan and the Korean Peninsula, preferring sandy beaches and rocky outcrops for resting and breeding. They were skilled hunters, preying on fish and squid, and played a significant role in their marine ecosystem. Unfortunately, the Japanese sea lion was driven to extinction by the mid 20th century due to excessive hunting for their pelts, oil, and as attractions for circuses and shows. Habitat degradation from coastal development further contributed to their decline. The last confirmed sightings were reported in the 1950s, marking the end of this unique and culturally significant species. Number seven, the Javan tiger. The Javan tiger, scientifically known as Panthera tigris sondica, was a powerful predator compared to the much smaller and more delicate Tasmanian tiger. While the Tasmanian tiger had an estimated bite force of around 120 newtons, the Javan tiger boasted a significantly stronger jaw with a bite force comparable to other tiger subspecies, reaching over 1,000 newtons, making it a formidable hunter. In terms of appearance, the Javan tiger had a sleek, muscular body with dark, closely spaced black stripes on its deep orange coat, giving it a fierce and striking look. It typically weighed between 220 to 310 pounds for males, far surpassing the Tasmanian tiger, which weighed around 44 to 66 pounds. While the Tasmanian tiger resembled a dog with a unique marsupial pouch and a slim build, 
The Javan Tiger embodied the classic tiger's powerful frame, sharp claws, and commanding presence. This strength allowed it to hunt large prey such as deer and wild boar, showing a level of prowess far greater than the primarily small prey diet of the Tasmanian tiger. Despite its power and adaptability, the Javan tiger faced severe threats due to deforestation and hunting, leading to its extinction in the 1970s. The loss of habitat and prey forced this apex predator into smaller areas until sightings dwindled and ceased entirely. Number eight, Stevens Island Wren, as known as Lyle's Wren. The last confirmed sighting of the Stevens Island Wren was in 1894, marking the end of a species that had once thrived in its isolated habitat. Known scientifically as Traversia lyali, Zrenyi, this small, flightless bird, was unique to Stevens Island in New Zealand. It had olive brown plumage with a speckled pattern and a delicate build, making it well camouflaged among the island's dense vegetation. Unlike other songbirds, the Stevens Island wren was distinguished by its inability to fly, relying instead on quick, nimble movements through the underbrush. It had adapted perfectly to its predator-free environment until the introduction of cats by lighthouse keepers on the island. The arrival of these non-native predators led to its swift decline as the small bird had no defenses against such threats. The Stevens Island Wren's tragic story serves as a stark reminder of how vulnerable isolated species can be to sudden ecological changes. By the time its extinction was officially recognized, the damage had already been done with only a few museum specimens remaining as evidence of its existence. Number nine, the Schomburg's deer. The Schomburg's deer, Rucurvus Schomburgi, was relentlessly hunted due to the high value placed on its antlers, which were believed to possess medicinal properties and were used in traditional Asian medicine. The intricate multi-branched antlers were not only prized for their perceived health benefits, but also served as status symbols and decorative items. The belief in the healing properties of deer antlers, thought to boost vitality and treat various ailments, drove the demand that fueled excessive hunting. This medium-sized deer had a sleek, reddish-brown coat and a graceful build, with males showcasing impressive antlers that could reach several feet in length. The species was native to the lowland swamp regions of central Thailand, thriving in marshy, water-rich environments. By the late 19th and early 20th centuries, habitat loss due to agricultural expansion compounded the pressure from hunting, leading to its rapid decline. The last confirmed sighting of the Schomburg's deer in the wild was in the 1930s, and the final captive individual was reportedly killed in 1938, sealing the fate of this once majestic animal. Number 10, the Poo Uli. The Puyuli Melamprosops fiosoma, or black-faced honeycreeper, stood out from other Hawaiian honeycreepers due to its distinctive appearance and specific habitat preferences. Unlike many honeycreepers with vibrant colors and specialized beaks for nectar feeding, the Puyuli had a more subdued grayish-brown plumage with a dark mask-like marking across its face, giving it a unique masked appearance. Its diet was also different as it fed on insects, spiders, and small invertebrates, rather than relying primarily on nectar. A major threat to the Puuli was avian malaria, a disease transmitted by introduced mosquitoes that decimated many native Hawaiian bird populations. This disease, alongside habitat destruction and predation by invasive species such as rats and cats, greatly impacted the already limited numbers of the Puuli the Pu'uli was native to the dense forests of East Maui, preferring the higher elevations where cooler temperatures once protected it from disease. However, as global temperatures rose, mosquitoes began invading higher altitudes, spreading avian malaria and further endangering this rare bird. The last confirmed sightings of the Pu'uli were in the early 2000s, with the final known individual dying in captivity in 2004 marking the tragic extinction of this unique honeycreeper. These stories of extinction highlight the lasting impact of human activity on nature. From the majestic Javan tiger to the gentle Schomburg's deer, each lost species reminds us of the importance of conservation. 
If you found this look into the past enlightening, like and subscribe for more captivating wildlife stories.